Now let's take a look at how Bosch Video Security Client interfaces with Remote Portal. I've already launched the Video Security Client application. This is the user interface when launching the application. To sign in to your Remote Portal account, go to the top right at the three dots, left click, and go to Accounts. Here you can add an account and log in with your Bosch Remote Portal credentials. After doing so, click Done. You will then see all of your Remote Portal groups, systems, or sites down at the bottom. You can see any that have the Remote Portal symbol at the bottom are sites that are connected to Remote Portal. You can also view any of these sites in the map if they have an address attached to them. So there are two, way of, two ways of entering the site. You can simply go down to the bottom, hover over the site, and click on it to enter. Or you can go to the map, click on that site, and it will tell you what the site is, and then you can simply click the Log On to Site button. When you click on, the, click on the site, it will begin logging on. It will sometimes take a couple seconds to load the cameras. So now we are in the live video user interface. And as you can see, you can already see the last two cameras that I had pulled up. Over on the left, is the camera tree so you actually can see a live shot of each camera. If you have multiple cameras added to the site you can click on the search and we can search for a camera. To add the camera to the live view you simply drag and drop. We can also set up different views in the top right hand corner so there is a default large single pane view. There is a quad view. In a quad view you need to drag cameras out. And then you can also set up custom views by going down and hitting edit. So I have a custom view where I am able to view up to eight cameras. Currently at this time, eight cameras is the max you can live view from Video Security Client. You will also have uh, pan, tilt, and zoom full functionality, as well as panoramic full functionality. Here, we are now going to go into the recorded view at the bottom of the page that says playback. We will simply left click on that. And we are going to change our view. So all the views are the same as live. And we are going to go to a single camera view. Over on the right hand side is the timeline of recorded video. If you scroll with your mouse, you can scroll and make the timeline closer together as well as further apart. You can also go to the top and select 12 hours, one hour, and select the way you would like to look at your timeline that way. We're also going to come down to the bottom left hand corner where it says exports. We're going to left hand click. We can save a snapshot and export video. If there's any video that has been exported from this site, we can also view the progress of that video. The next tab at the bottom is forensics. So this is a very light forensic search. So if you are knowledgeable of BVMS 
and the forensic search functionality. It's very similar to that, except it is very a very, very light version. Forensic search uses the analytics built inside of the cameras and records the metadata beside the video. So if there are no analytics set up, we can always search after the fact of a particular rule. This saves an operator time when an incident has occurred and you're not sure when the incident happened. On the left hand side, you can choose all of the forensic search features that you would like to search for. So there's a simple motion search, a crossing the line search, an entering the field search, and a face search. This face search is only available on cameras that have facial detection, which is only the camera understanding that it is a person's face. Now to exit the site, you go to the top left hand corner and click on the door with the, with the arrow. Now we are out of that site. It's very simple to then go into another site if needed. A couple of things to mention here. There are no restrictions on how many sites you can have. However, there is a restriction on the amount of devices inside that site, and that restriction is 250 cameras per site. Now we will go to our mobile, mobile device and open up the video security application. You will see that it looks very similar to the application on a Windows 10 machine. It has the same login up top right. You can scroll down at the bottom and look at all of your sites. You can also see the sites on the map. We can enter a site simply by clicking on it. And just like the application on your computer, it's very easy to view video just by simply touching the camera that you would like to view. Down at the bottom, you have a full screen, your live, playback, and forensic tabs. These are all very similar to the application on Windows 10. Down at the bottom, there's the timeline, which you can scroll left and right. Simply select the time of the video that you would wish to watch by simply clicking on it. You can scroll in and out of the time by simply using both fingers or thumbs. The next tab is the forensic search feature, which is very similar. You still have motion. The forensic search feature. The top left is how you would view all of your cameras if you wanted to pull multiple or a different camera out and you exit the application the exact same way up in the top left hand corner.